It's daybreak, and as usual, residents here in the Germany community are getting prepared to start their day. Only this time, things are a bit different. <laughs> Since the flood caused by the overflow of the Volta River began, major portions of the community have been submerged and brought multiple aspects of life to a standstill. Also affected is the community's main water source, so now they rely on the river. We don't have safe water. This is what we use for everything. Esther Bidiatu, a mother of one, is making a trip to and from the riverside to fill barrels at home with water. With it, she cooks, bathes and drinks. But a few weeks of constant use of this water is taking a toll on her and her daughter. We are getting sick with rashes. My child has rashes all over her body. The struggles being faced by residents using the water raise concerns about what really is causing the spread of diseases. We took a ride on the river and made a shocking discovery. So we just got to the bank of the water and this is one of the homes here in the Germany community. And you can see the stagnant water it's dirty and there are mosquitoes breeding on this particular water, which means that the people here are at a risk of getting malaria. But right here, nearby this stagnant water, you can see that some of the residents are fetching water. This water is used to cook, bathe, wash and do everything basically that they need water for. This is right by the stagnant water that we just saw. But more interestingly is the fact that just nearby is a public toilet that serves the entire community and has been submerged fully in water. Uh, this basically means that the water here is contaminated and residents are at a high risk of catching diseases. It gives us sicknesses because that's what we used to cook. With both public toilets submerged, it was then necessary to find out exactly where residents go to ease themselves. As it happens like this, people normally defecate in the rubbers and throw it away mm. in the water. The current situation poses serious danger to the community as residents are now at high risk of catching diseases like cholera and typhoid. Disease control officer in the community says their healthcare centers are seeing a sharp rise in patients. The complaint that they have is the diarrhea, the typhoid, and then the skin rashes. And in fact, the skin rashes is, is now increasing because of the, how the water, uh, the temperature of the water has been changed. It makes uh, people having those rashes. Assemblyman of the area, Thomas Avuada, is calling for urgent help. We are pleading if Ghana water will take over the whole community, we will, I mean, uh, be glad of it. Until help is provided, residents remain at high risk of catching diseases. Judith Brown, TV3 News, Germany, Volta Region.